At Morley, we're in the northeastern suburbs of Perth. We have an incredibly multicultural community around the region. Over the last few years, um, we started to embark on a, a big building project. And so we took a gymnasium that was underutilised. And during COVID, our little op shop moved into the gym. Part of that building project was to create a cafe. So we opened up the Milk and Honey Cafe. Part of the history of that cafe is uh, that 50 odd years ago, this used to be a honey factory. And so it became a, a Salvation Army core, became a place of community. And so the Milk and Honey Cafe, M&H Cafe, has been an incredible part of our building project. It's created a space of welcome across our community. Milk and honey is the promised land, what we see in the Bible that God's promised to Abraham. So it's a beautiful, blessing place. I remember this one time that this guy that's coming here, his wife passed away, he come here, have a coffee just to support the community. And then when he heard the music we're playing, he was crying. So, so it was amazing. He said that he can feel the warmth from the staff. So he feel that he's beloved in this place. So this is amazing. One of the things I love is about activating this space. So sometimes we have buildings that lay dormant and we think, wait a minute, how could we use this to build community? How could we use this to be a place where there's transformation happening in people's lives? To use it as a space where people can feel connected and feel a place of belonging. And even today, we've got play group, we've got an art and craft group, we've got youth workers out in local high schools, we've got Home League, our seniors program. So there's so much happening that just seeks to create a place of community. It's a beautiful opportunity just for people to come together and to be able to have those conversations that you normally wouldn't have out with um, neighbours or friends. Things like, how am I going spiritually? A couple of ladies have lost their spouses this year. Um, and the way that the other ladies just respond to them with love and care is just beautiful. So there is that support and encouragement, but in a spiritual sort of way, so when you're doing that and enjoying that relationship, the knitting and the sewing don't need to be done. <laughs> we want to be a place where the whosoever can come. You know, wherever there's hardship, wherever there's injustice, wherever there's someone who's lonely, wherever there's someone that needs support, you know, care, that the Salvation Army would be there for them. I love what God's doing through this community of bringing an outward focus amongst our congregation, our core community, our volunteers, where we're saying we want to reach people, we want to um, understand our faith, and we want to be able to be um, passionate and, and bold enough to share our faith. But we also want people to encounter um, the person of Jesus Christ, because we believe in Him, people will find fullness of life and complete transformation, abundant life. I love the idea that we're one Salvation Army, especially with someone in the community. We're just the Salvation Army. We might have different streams, but in terms of the community, it's the Salvation Army. I think that is so important, not just for us at Morley, but nationally. We're, we're part of one team, we're part of one Salvation Army, and we work together to see um, God use us to, to do great things in, in people's lives.